We all know you want to get your whole body in shape, but you know what? It all starts at the top, the shoulders, where everything hangs off of. You got to make sure that those are in shape. That's why we're here at Fitness for All. I'm talking with Chris Stone. How important is it to work those shoulders? Because a lot of people, you see them get a huge amount of weight and put it right on their backs for stuff like that. Definitely. A lot of people, they like to load up their shoulders and press, and they end up with a lot of shoulder injuries and pronation in the shoulder. So first, we're going to start out, we're going to work the rear delts with the shoulder and really shape it using just a light band. So Anna here is going to be uh, working with us today. I'm going to have her turn sideways. So when I talk about pronation in the shoulders, I'm talking about the shoulders coming forward and, and a lack of a rear delt. So we're going to focus on the rear delts first. Uh, Anna, if you grab the band. So you got a nice band here to work with, so she's not actually working with any physical weights at all. No, it's just light resistance training, and I'm really going to have her squeeze in the back of her shoulders so she can form her shoulders from the back to the front. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is a rear, uh, rear delt fly, so reverse fly. Good. I want Anna coming up nice and high, thumbs to the ceiling. If you get a shot back here, you can see her rear delt starting to activate right now just with that light band. All right, so that's one set of workouts for that. What's another set that we can do? Another set is Anna's going to bring her elbows up high. And she's going to rotate forward and back. Good. And as she rotates back, I'm going to have her squeeze her rear delt back here and get her to activate the back part of her shoulder. This is going to bring that pronation back to a neutral position. All right. Two great workouts to help you build up that shoulder muscles. Thanks for watching today's workout. Be sure to stay tuned. we got plenty more workouts coming up. Welcome to today's workout. We're talking all about shoulders. Want to make sure that those are nice and big and looking strong. But you know what? They can be looking pretty sexy for the ladies. And that's what we're talking about here at Fitness for All Extreme Training Center here in Perrysburg. Chris Stone, what's, uh, what's today's workout now? Okay, so we're working the shoulders. We already worked her rear delts, so we're gonna work into her front delt, delts now. So we're gonna do a nice little front raise, and we're gonna raise it up high and squeeze together at the top to really activate her front delts. So Anna, you go ahead. Good, now when she gets to the top, I'm having her press the dumbbells together as hard as she can. This is activating her front delts and really working on shaping and toning that muscle. Down, up, and as she goes and squeeze, she's gonna pump blood into that front delt and really get it to shape and define it a lot more than if she was just going up and down with the weight. Good, squeeze real tight. If you're just getting started with this workout, how many repetitions do you think it would be a good weight to start out with? 10 to 12 reps with a lighter weight. The big focus isn't so much on how, how much weight she's doing, it's on the squeeze at the top, right here at this top of the contraction. Squeeze and real tight, activating that front delt. All right, really cool. Good, relax. The next exercise we're gonna do is a pressing motion. Now I don't want her to go heavy because I don't want to have any injuries in the shoulder, so we're gonna start off real light. Anna's gonna bring the dumbbells in front, She's gonna press up one arm at a time, go, and rotate forward. As she comes down, come down, I want her to lean to the side of, that she's working and really put the tension into her front delt. That's gonna force her to activate that front delt more rather than if she was just going straight up and down. Other arm, and down, nice and slow. Feel that tension into the front, good. Now we're running a little bit out of time here, but how important is it to go with a lighter weight, especially with these shoulder muscles? A lot of common, uh, Common problems we see in shoulders are injuries in the rotator cuff from going heavy, and that heavy weight and uh, the stability with the shoulder can really be an issue. So going lighter and squeezing and activating all the muscles in your shoulder is very, very important. All right, good tips like that. If you want more tips like that, they're open every day here at Fitness for All Extreme Training Center in Perrysburg.